This is Ezekiel 30, this is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham, Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Sorry, thank you to you, Aki, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to live in sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. And uh, I'm going through, uh, I just wanted to do this lesson, right? You know, <clears throat> about warning um blowing the trumpet all right which is what we're supposed to be doing because we have to be watchmen and we're watching for the um the enemy you know and um we're standing on the walls you know as it says in uh habakkuk the second chapter i will stand upon my watch all right um let me get another scripture Right, this is uh, Micah 4 and 8. And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come. Even the first dominion, the kingdom, shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. All right? And, and the tower of the flock are the um, the men that Yahweh Bashmi Asha has set up to be watchmen over this nation. All right? So we got to be on our watch at all times, man, you know, and really, um, as the scripture says, um, uh, blesses that servant when his, uh, master comes shall find so doing. All right. So we don't want to be caught, uh, uh, getting drunk with the drunkards and just, we don't want to join the circus, so to speak. All right. We're here to spy out the land and observe and report. Just like the angels are meant to do. So if we get caught sleeping on the job, that's our ass, man. You know, because what happens, man, if if uh, the watchman ain't on his job, then guess what? The city can get raided and a bunch of people are going to die, right? And the city's going to be destroyed. And guess what? All that blood is on that watchman's hand. All right. That's why... Um, Let's see. Make a description. Uh, all right. <clears throat> right. This is Acts twenty. This is Acts 20 and 26. Wherefore I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh. Right? So that's the only way we could be uh, exonerated, so to speak. That's the only way we could be free from the blood of all men is if um, is if we uh ex is if we uh, preach this word, man. If we warn our people of what's to come, man. Otherwise, we're uh, like the scripture says, they prepare. Uh, as the scripture talks about how they prepare a table for their troop. Basically, that's you know these wicked of our people. They're setting you up for for destruction, man. You know, it's good to say if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch, man. So there's many men that are out here that are leading our people astray, man. You know, as the scripture says, there's many unruly and vain talkers whose mouths must be stopped, especially they of the circumcision, man. So their mouths are going to be stopped, man. They have to be stopped. All right. Otherwise, many people are going to uh, listen to their bullshit 
and they're gonna be uh, destroyed. You know, cause they're not speaking uh, wholesome words, man. At the end of the day, we got to keep this. Uh, matter of fact, let me get it. It says um, ordinance. Says, yep, 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 yep. This is First uh, Corinthians eleven and two. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. So keep the order as it was delivered unto you. Teach what it was. Hey, it's like uh, no, the elderman um, Jeremiah here in, in Chicago. You know. His channel is GMS Teach What Was Taught. Why teach anything else? You know, other men have labored and you are entered into their labors. This is a, uh, they already had the blueprint, man. You don't need to add anything to it, you know. At the end of the day, um, we're just building on the blueprint, blueprint that was given. And we have to take heed how we build in, at the end of the day, man. And we can't get offended when somebody come check our bricks, man. How we laying them, you know, how we tempering the mortar, all that, man. All that's going to get checked, searched out, and seeked out, man. And, um, you know, it's just like a job site, you know. But, yeah, man, you know, we you know we have what's profitable. Uh, uh, it says be apt to teach, man. So we got to go through these scriptures so we can be apt to teach, man. You know, and we got to be diligent in doing so. So that's pretty much the long and short of it, you know. No, and we got to be on our watch. You know, we got to be like uh, the chief, you know, because the chief shepherd is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the chief shepherd. Okay, and we're shepherds underneath the chief, the chief shepherd. And each shepherd underneath the chief shepherd should want to be like the chief shepherd. We should have the same care, you know, to the best of our ability, man, over the sheep. You know, and the scriptures talk about um, how your te how they how they how they, your teachers how they watch over your soul as one that uh, have to give account because we do have to give account. We have to give account, man. We have to give account of what we're doing. We have to give account of, um, of the sheep. That means we have to be, um, you know, uh, aware of the state of the flock. We got to be observing of the flock, you know, and any good teacher, you know, he, he sits down with his with his students or, or he or she, you know, uh, in this place. Right. You know, but they'll sit down with their students to see, um, you know, really where they're at, you know, and they're and they're learning and, and where they're at and they're learning is uh is where the teacher will work with them, you know. And that's the and that and that's and that's where it starts at, you know. You know, and that's true education, you know, to draw from within. You know, you you really look at the student and you see what his strengths is and what his weaknesses is, and you and you work from there. You know, you know, because you want to know, and and as a student. You want to know where you're strong at and you want to know where you're weak at. And then where you're weak at, that's where you want to, you know, kind of get the most attention to, man. You know? You want to draw too much on raw talent, man. Because then uh, you neglect um, the parts where you're weak at, man. Scriptures just talk about examining yourself, man. You know? You know, we we all got to do that, man. Hey, but at the end of the day, 
let all things be done to edification, as the scripture says, man. You know, we're all builders. We're all co-workers at the end of the day. And we got to have love and respect uh, to one another, man. You know, spiritual co-workers, man. You know? But, yeah, man, that's um, pretty much uh, the lesson that I wanted to do. Uh, with that, I'd like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity with Cherry. Shalom and above above.